deep in the Appalachian Mountains, where travel is treacherous along the West Virginia Turnpike and down these country roads. Big or small, the guys at Glenn's Towing can do it all. Get this last load done. They know there's no business like tow business. This week on Tow Business. A rental box truck passes some tolls but ends up paying for it anyway. Then Sandstone Mountain strikes again and claims another tractor trailer as a trophy. And the deliveries slide to a halt up on flat top. Then there's this. So you weren't you you weren't there. You weren't there at all. No, no, that was a crappy job, Chuck. Got <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I had to take care of the work. Yeah. I didn't get a good involved in an apple, unfortunately. I got a call from I think it was Oak Hill Sanitation. They called me, they needed a uh, piece of their equipment loaded back up on a flatbed truck and their equipment was down so I took the rotator over there and it's down towards down in the Menden area in Oak Hill. But we've known these people for years so in the business we've been in you know, we've crossed paths for numerous things throughout the time so they and they know we got the equipment to get the job done so the easiest way to get it done is just make one call they call us we come take care of for them and it, it's a pretty good relationship we have with them. Well, when you've lived in Fayette County, West Virginia, all of your life, you can expect to know a few folks in that area. And when they have a job requiring some heavy lifting, of course, they're going to call Glenn's. I had to pick the tank up, and I just picked it up on one side and swung it around to the other side of the truck and put it onto a flatbed. Uh, easy pick. but. I gotta check because I'm pretty sure I ain't got paid for that yet. It's it's a I think it's a stirring tank for the sewer department. They where they stir everything the pumps. It was a brand new piece, but I guess when they shipped it in here this winter, I think the pump busted. Uh, it froze and uh, busted the pump in it. So before they could even install it, they had to send it back to them to get it rebuilt. I'm pretty sure that's what they were saying it happened because it was full of water when I got there. So we basically just got it loaded back up for them, got it sent back to the company that built it. Because then that way they can get back to stirring it. And that's not a good thing. So, so you, weren't, you, you weren't there, you weren't there at all? Right? No, no, that was a crappy job Chuck got me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I had to take care of the one. Yeah. I didn't get a good involved in an apple, unfortunately. Or fortunately, depending on how you look at it. Coming up on Toe Business. A box truck doesn't quite make it over a one-lane bridge, but is there a godly connection? Mountain State's natural beauty is its best kept secret. Evergreen Environmental Management is on call 24-7 to keep West Virginia green and clean, ensuring you and your children have a safe place to work and play. Hazardous materials are all around us, in trucks, trains, and even airplanes. When these chemicals spill, Evergreen is there in minutes of an environmental emergency with proper absorbent materials scientifically designed to attract chemicals and petroleum-based products to stop the spread of dangerous pollutants. Evergreen has the heavy-duty equipment to do whatever is necessary to contain a spill and dispose of it properly. Liquid or gas contaminants can be pumped out and disposed of in accordance with the letter of the law. Contaminated rock and soil is tested and analyzed to make sure the proper disposal method is used and put into action to stop the seepage of pollutants into our environment. Evergreen Environmental Management, there for you to keep wild and wonderful West Virginia green and clean. Thank you.